back to my channel and another Ninja 15 in 1 recipe. Today I am steam baking and the reason I'm choosing to steam bake rather than bake is because I think it makes a much moister cake. I think this comes from the really humid environment you get when you're using steam and steam is a much better conductor of heat than air. So that is why I am choosing to use this function and this cake is super delicious. So it is my sticky ginger cake. Let me show you how you make it really nice and easy to put together and creates an absolutely gorgeous treat. Right, so to start with, I've got my bowl on my scale so that I can weigh everything out. And we're gonna start off with dry ingredients. So you're gonna need 200 grams of plain flour. So let's measure that to start with. It's always the way, isn't it? You're a little bit under and then you just tilt a little bit and you go over. Great, plain flour done. Now we wanna really give this some good flavor. So ground ginger, of course, is essential in your ginger cake. And we need a whole tablespoon here. Let's just measure it the best I can, roughly. That's good. Ginger is really nice and warming in this kind of dish. Um, it's actually even a little bit zesty and peppery as well. And then to go alongside that, some cinnamon. So it's ground cinnamon, really fragrant this. And we need a teaspoon. T Whoa, did too much. Whoops, okay. Teaspoon, that's good. And then also some ground nutmeg as well. And again, we want a teaspoon. And then some bicarbonate of soda and another teaspoon. Now let's move over to the saucepan. So let's just swap those around. Because some of these ingredients we're gonna melt. So let's start off with the golden syrup. And we want a hundred grams. So it is a lot of syrup. And next is some black treacle. Now this is tricky getting this in. I think I'm just gonna pour it to be honest. We want 140 grams. Oh, it's so thick, look at this. Okay, let's keep going with that. I don't know anybody that has a clean pot of treacle. I mean, look at the state of that. I made such a mess. Never mind. We also want to add our butter into the saucepan as well. And you want 100 grams of butter. This isn't really just a cake. This could be like a really nice pudding. You know, you could serve this with custard or ice cream some caramel sauce. And then the last thing to go into your saucepan is gonna be your brown sugar. And we need 100 grams of that. With my, um, with my loaf tin, I'm just going to just grease in the edges here. And I'm actually gonna use some parchment paper. I just don't wanna risk it sticking and not being able to get it out. And this is quite a sticky cake as well, so. I think it's always best to do that. So I've got the parchment. I don't know if anyone else does it this way, but I screw mine up like this. I think it makes it a little bit easier to get it into those edges. And then just pull it out like this. And then put it in. And then that butter that's in there just helps it stick to the sides. Give this little mix, just help this to start melting together. It won't take very long at all. Now that these ingredients are all melted together, lovely. Just add that to your dry ingredients. All we've got left to add to this is some milk and then we've got a couple of eggs as well. This is 80 millilitres of milk. And now I'm just gonna crack in my two large eggs. And just stir this to combine that in. Here we go. Oh. You can just tell by the mixture that this is going to be so sticky and so delicious. For steam baking, you need the liquid in the bottom here. So just water. It's a minimum of, of 250 millilitres. 
And now the cake can be lowered in. Just gonna tuck that parchment paper in. Right now we can get it on to steam bake. You need to put the selector into the middle here. These are your combi steam options that we've got here. And just go across and you've got steam bake. So similarly to doing my banana loaf, I went with 165. And that took just 27 minutes. I think this is gonna take a little bit longer. I'm gonna go with half an hour and I will keep an eye on it. Cause that is the beauty of this is that we can open that lid. But initially when the steam is building up, I would definitely not open it. You want that steam to be circulating around in the machine. But you know, when we get to sort of 25, 26 minutes, you're absolutely fine to be opening it up and having a check. So let's go with that, see how we get on. And I'll be back when we've got this cooked. So I've just checked this. I covered it with foil about five minutes ago and I've just had another check. So we've got five minutes remaining. So this is a 25 minutes. I've used my skewer. I can't find any wet sections in the middle and it looks lovely and aerated and it's pretty bouncy, look at that. You will notice that when you do this um, on steam bake, you get sort of like a shine on the top. This looks cooked to me, I'm gonna get it out. This is cooled down nicely, so let's cut a slice and have a little look inside. Feels so light and springy. Oh, look at that really really moist and smells incredible